What's up guys, it's Zero here. A YouTuber got his application for monetization delayed. Let's talk about it. So guys, Dr. Disrespect teases a much bigger opportunity as YouTube delays his monetization application. This is coming to us from the folks over at Dexterto. Dr. Disrespect says YouTube has postponed his remonetization application, but teased that something much bigger could be in the works. In June 2024, former Twitch employees broke their silence about Dr. Disrespect's real name Guy Beam and why he was permanently banned from the Purple streaming site. They alleged that he was sending inappropriate messages to an underage user, something Doc admitted to in a since-deleted tweet. Beam lost partnerships, including his YouTube monetization, and was even kicked from the game studio he helped co-found. He took a brief vacation from streaming and returned a couple months later to reveal more about what happened, accusing Twitch staff of orchestrating the ban while claiming the messages he sent were taken out of context. As Doc waits to see if YouTube will remonetize his channel, other platforms have come out and said they won't be signing him to exclusive deals. Kick, which had reportedly offered Beam $10 million a year prior to the Twitch ban revelations, even claimed that signing him now would be a waste and even hurt the brand. However, Rumble CEO Chris Pavlovsky has suggested that Dr. Disrespect would be welcome on the platform in response to reports that the site wasn't going to offer him a contract. We made a video about this, guys, about the whole thing happening over at Rumble and what they were doing with Dr. Disrespect. Obviously, Kick now coming out even after offering him a $10 million contract. Dr. Disrespect refused the $10 million, saying that he was worth $50 million a year. On October 24th, Dr. Disrespect cryptically tweeted, Make gaming great again, to which Pavlovsky responded with an eyes emoji. These tweets sparked plenty of rumors in the streaming space, with some convinced it was a sign that Beam could be joining Rumble or leaving YouTube. Rumble being the new home for Dr. Disrespect would be groundbreaking for the platform, one remarked. Would love to see Doc streaming on Rumble, another chimed in. A few hours later, Doc revealed his new merch store, consisting of Make Gaming Great Again apparel, once again playing right into the Rumble community. And he posted, guys, it says, For the Gamers, by the Gamers, Make Gaming Great Again Limited Edition Collection. And if Dr. Disrespect goes to Rumble, that would be a really fascinating, you know, kind of ordeal because Rumble, yes, it does have a lot of creators there but a lot of people actually create content on rumble as like a secondary you know source of getting a bunch of eyeballs because most people like the quartering and such have a youtube channel as well as a rumble channel so they're not exclusively on rumble as of yet but it looks like rumble very well may be making moves to become more mainstream you know in terms of comparing themselves and going up against the likes of youtube twitch and kick and if Rumble got Dr. Disrespect signed on, that would be a massive power move for Rumble without question. Because I said this on a number of videos, and I'll say it again, Dr. Disrespect has one of the best, you know, fan bases in gaming as a whole. I mean, when we really think about Dr. Disrespect and you think of like gamers out there, Dr. Disrespect is a figure that is at the very top of most people's minds when you think of gamers. Additionally, later that day, Dr. Disrespect revealed that YouTube had decided to postpone a decision on his monetization application, saying it was pushed back by 60 days and he'd be able to apply again. Okay then, let's wait another 60 days. We might have something much, much bigger, he teased, one of the biggest opportunities to date for the two-time. With Kick and Twitch out of the equation, that leaves Rumble as a potential new home for Doc, and its CEO has indicated that the platform is in favor of forgiveness. Replying to a fan curious if Rumble, like Twitch, would have banned Asmongold for comments he made about Palestine, Pavlovsky admitted he didn't know what was said, but explained typically for content violations, we do not ban outright unless it's egregious. If they violate our terms, we issue a strike first, and we hope this allows the creator to learn and correct course, he added. Forgiveness is something we believe in. We'll have to wait and see what happens in the next two months regarding his YouTube application and if another site, such as Rumble, becomes his new home in the future if things don't work out. So guys, the Dr. Disrespect situation continues, but he's now teasing that there's a much bigger opportunity potentially for him. Whether that's Rumble or something else, it'll be really interesting and fascinating to see what ends up happening with the two time and what he decides to do next because he's got a massive following of people and now a real cult following of people that are going to follow him regardless of where he goes and so it's going to be really interesting and i'll keep you guys all up to speed as more information comes out 
But the question is for all of you, what do you guys think about this whole situation? I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Let's have a real conversation about it. Also, YouTube is reportedly testing a new homepage that removes dates and view counts. Let's talk about it. So guys, YouTube is reportedly testing a new website layout that removes the date when a video was uploaded and the amount of views it has. Over the last couple of years, YouTube has experimented with changes to its website that remove various features. The Google-owned company removed dislikes back in 2021 to reduce targeted attacks on videos prompting backlash from users worldwide. However, a browser extension to bring them back quickly rose from the ashes. On Monday, October 28th, vidIQ reported in a post on X that YouTube is testing a new homepage layout that removes view counts and dates. In the screenshot, you can see six videos that show the thumbnail title and channel name, but nothing else. Normally, you'll find the view count in an estimate of how long ago the video was uploaded under the channel name. Shortly after the tweet was posted, dozens of users flocked to the comments to share their thoughts about the potential change. View counts and dates matter in selecting between videos on the same topic. I get from a product perspective what they're trying to do, but this isn't better for viewers or creators, one user commented. Another said, view counts I kinda get, but dates? Having a more recent video on a topic is really important a lot of the time. I don't like that, I wanna see how old a video is, view count doesn't bother me, but if I'm looking for up-to-date information on something, I don't want a six-year-old video, you know, replied a third. And then tech YouTuber Marquise Brownlee shared his thoughts as well. Stop chasing Netflix and just be YouTube, he said. And I 100% agree with, with what Marquise Brownlee said, because I just feel like you keep changing these like things and sometimes it's fine guys, a platform and a big tech company like this, they have to evolve and adapt with time. It'll be really fascinating nonetheless to see what YouTube decides to do here. Now that being said though guys, not everyone on the post is against the removal of dates and views. However, with many commenting that it could benefit some creators as many people skip videos with lower view counts. This comes just days after it was reported that YouTube is testing a new cheaper version of YouTube Premium that offers limited ads across all of your devices. So I do agree guys that it could certainly help smaller creators who would normally get their YouTube videos skipped over because they just don't have as many views as maybe some of the other creators out there. So it could help actually a lot of smaller YouTubers get you know noticed and get exposure to YouTube and the algorithm and all of those things. So it's gonna be really fascinating to say the least what's gonna happen here. And I'll be sure to keep you guys all up to speed as more information comes out. But what do you guys think about YouTube taking away the date a video was uploaded and the view count? It'll be really fascinating to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let's have a real conversation about it.